According to the Global Financial Integrity Report of 2018, Uganda loses at least $1 billion annually in corruption-related tax evasion and money laundering. The office of the IG cannot actually conduct certain activities because the office is not full. And we've seen uh, previously, uh, when they attempted to do so, they were taken to court. We also want the promises by the president uh, during last year's anti-corruption day. Uh, we want them to, to be put in pla into practice. We want to see corruption being made a thing of the past in Uganda. The Electoral Commission ought to, to ensure that candidates, so political parties actually declare their source of vote. But when it comes to candidates, I think it's also important that you get to know who is funding, who is giving you money. But again, we also know that most of them probably are borrow monies. That is why it isn't surprising that the first thing that, especially for parliamentarians, what they do when they get to parliament is to try to hike their allowances. As Action Aid, we believe that the establishment of proper reporting lines for corruption cases by the government with inclusion of expansion of budgets uh, to enhance reporting of corruption cases will help us in this fight. We are calling upon government to urgently introduce a comprehensive witness protection legal and institutional framework for the enhanced protection of witnesses and informers in the context of investiga investigation and prosecution of anti-corruption cases. Mm -hmm.